Tidal Way is amazing. The game is art that tries to tell you a story while also showcasing what the Vita is capable of. The game uses the Vita sensors into its gameplay. With the front and back cameras you will take pictures and use those pictures in various ways. Also you appear on the sky. With the rear touchpad you will have to solve puzzles. With the touchscreen you will also have to do stuff. There are puzzles that use the gyroscope and other puzzles that never feel forced. That's what is amazing in the game. It's highly creative, but never feels like something was put there to just use a sensor. Everything feels at place, like it belongs there. But some of the mechanics aren't perfect though. For example, the menu from where you can cut paper and create new stuff. Well, some reviewers said that the menu has incredible precision. And I do agree that the Vita's touchscreen has good precision, but still, moving cutouts around is finicky. Also, I wish I had an undo button. If you make a mistake and want to undo, your only option is to undo everything. You have to restart. You can't undo, only restart everything. You can erase what you draw with the crayon, but once it's cut, you can't undo it. Also, I wish I could draw with crayons on the paper. So that for example here where I had to make a pumpkin, it would have been easier to draw some lines on the orange paper than trying to cut a line from black paper. When I saw how finicky it is, I was satisfied by the orange I made instead of a pumpkin, pumpkin and moved on. Also there is a limit of how big a drawing can be. You can also decorate Iota, the character you control, and this menu is also sometimes finicky. In the decoration department, I like how many presets you get. There's a wealthy amount of customization options, and you can even create your own presets. And you will use this menu to customize other characters too in your journey. Now about the journey. The game advertises that you get your own adventure. Even the in-game dialogue says stuff about your own adventure. Well, it's true that some of what you see on the screen is unique to each player. I mean, there's my face everywhere. But story-wise, we will play the same story if you play the game. The difference between my playthrough and someone else's is that you get to customize stuff. Whether it is that you choose how the snowflakes would look or what texture an animal will have or how a flame will look, or a crown, or how a certain character I encounter will look, that's the difference, but the story is the same. And you will be grateful that we get to play the same story, as it's unique, touching, and amazing. The story is very personal, because you are a character, and I'm not talking about Iota, the character you control. No, you are a character in the game. And Iota is a letter that wants to deliver itself to you. The story is very touching. I, I liked it a lot. During gameplay, you will also have to fight. The combat feels great. At first, you just have to avoid scraps, pick them up and throw them into something. And the more you progress, the better the combat gets, especially after you get the accordion with which you can suck enemies in and blow them into walls. Other than the mechanics I've already talked about, you can also take pictures in the game. There's a nice number of filters and lenses you can use, and along your journey there are optional challenges like photographing something with a certain lens or filter, and for that you get points, with which you can buy new filters or customization parts. Also by photographing objects fully in white and re-giving them their former colors, you unlock papercraft blueprints. Also the music in the game is amazing too, just like the game in general. It tries to be art and it succeeds. It's not just art that only critics would understand, the game is heartwarming for any player. The creativity in the level designs makes the game varied and the variety never feels out of place or like it was put there just to check some boxes. And the story is very touching because it's more personal. You are a character in the game. I recommend you the game. If you have a Vita, 
you should definitely play that way. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.